Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 264. That is, what is build verification testing? Let me answer. Build verification testing is also known as smoke testing, okay? The build verification testing is another name for smoke testing, guys. There is nothing much, okay? So what exactly is smoke testing or build verification testing? In build verification testing or in smoke testing, we test the major important and critical functionalities of the software at a high level. Once the developer provides a build for testing, instead of directly going for in-depth or in-detail testing, first we perform smoke testing or build verification testing, where we test the major important and critical showstopper functionalities of the software and that too at a high level. Only few test cases of this major important critical few important test cases of the major important critical functionalities we are going to test. We are not going to test the entire test cases of this major important critical functionalities. At a high level, only few test cases of major, few important test cases of major important critical functionalities of the software we are going to test and that too in less time. Okay, we should not take more time guys. Just 15 to 30 minutes should be enough. Okay, based on the type of the application complexity, it should not take more than 30 minutes. Okay. So that is build a verification testing or smoke testing. So why we have to perform build verification testing or smoke testing? So after performing smoke testing or build verification testing, we either accept the build from the developer or reject the build back to the developer, okay? So if everything is fine, okay? After performing smoke testing, if the major important critical functionalities which are tested at a high level, okay, are working fine, okay? There are no defects and uh, it's a green signal for doing the in-detail in testing, right? Then we are going to accept the build. If not, if not, if you find a defect in this major important critical functionalities when they are tested at a high level, then we are going to reject the build. For example, there is a login functionality in the login, you are unable to log in. That is important major critical functionality of the software, guys. And uh, when you give valid credentials, you are unable to log in. So that means, the defects are there at the major important critical functionalities which when tested at a high level only. So in that case, we are going to reject the build guys. We are not going to uh, proceed further for the in detail or in depth testing. We simply reject the build back to the developers as part of build verification testing or smoke testing by writing an email saying that hi developer. Okay, so we perform smoke testing or build verification testing and uh, observe that uh, the smoke testing has failed because of the so and so defect, okay. So please fix this defect and uh, provide us the next build so that uh, we can proceed further in, de in detail testing. Okay, like that we'll, pro we'll send an email to the developers. Okay, so this is what is build verification testing. So hope guys you understood what is build verification testing in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you bye-bye.